Pixel Plus UI latest version is out which is Pixel Plus UI version 4.6 based on Android 12.1 and yes with the June security patch as expectedly some changes the new changes change log about this latest version is here and I'm going to talk about some new changes which you have in this version so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end of course it is actually based on Android 12.1 or you can say Android 12 L so all the changes are with this update already there and yes it comes with the June security patch the first major change is of course as it comes with a june security patch for so all the changes which i'm talking about in this video are actually for the versions if you're using with this june security patch if you're using older version the things might be different in your case let's take a look at the first change the first difference which we have with the previous update is the pixelizer it is now available at number three of course in the previous update if you watch my previous video the pixelizer was at top and now it is at third option of course it's not a major change but still the change is actually a change so yes that's why i am here to show you another new thing which is added and in my opinion this is actually quite useful is called wipe battery stats if you're able to see at the top top right basically you have the option to reset the stats and this is actually super duper useful and that option is now included in the previous versions of this in the previous versions of this room like pixel plus ui the feature was not there but now it's finally here and this is just super useful as you just mentioned because you can simply wipe the stats to check out how much screen on time you're getting etc etc so that feature is now finally implemented in this version if i move on to the another version if you remembered my previous video about pixel plus ui version 4.5 there was issue with the app lock the app lock was not there in the previous update and i had already told that the app lock should be there and now in this latest update yes we finally have the app lock included this is something really good and yes it will only be able to protect the third party apps it will not protect the system app so just keep this thing in your mind while using app locker on your device but yes at least it's there you can even adjust the auto lock timeout if you want to things seems to be quite good here till now if i move on to the other option other changes which you have in this latest pixel plus ui is some network customization now you have the option to show 4g instead of lte you also have the combined signal icons option data disabled icon option is also there you can disable that and call strength icons which you can enable or disable some few of the tweaks have been also added in, in this version so yes this seems to be quite good now we also have some option to customize the fonts and in my opinion this is something really interesting and something really useful because the default font sometimes doesn't feel good and if you want to change fonts you need to root advice in some cases but in this pixel plus your latest version now we have this feature available you can simply adjust or change these fonts and the fonts will be applied everywhere if you are using the third party apps etc the things will be there too so this is something really good and of course some cool fonts also added other than else things are basically same and these are some few of the changes which you have and yes other than else things are basically same for example we have the ignore window secure flag which was added in the previous build too so yes the things are same here the game space as expectedly it's also same there there is nothing new in this case because the pixel plus ui 4.5 version the game space was included and i had already mentioned that in this in that video so yes there are no major changes here too in the notification section now you have the option of kill app button which was not available previously you can simply hold the notification to kill that app if you want to and this is also kind of useful for some of the users in my case it is not for my regular usage so i'm not sure about it but if you want to use it you can other than else for example the lock screen customizations we have the force small clock lock screen charging info which is of course kind of really useful you have the double tap to sleep option on the status bar if you want to use this thing you can this is about the lock screen customizations and if you move on to some gestures option system navigation quick quickly open camera swipe to screenshot and playback control etc all these things are already there and yes you can use this thing if you want to all the useful options are already there you can also use the advanced restart option in the power menu if you want to so yes pixel plus ui with this latest update giving you some extra features some extra customizations for you and of course including all the pixel goodies which you have here by default in theming section as i just mentioned that you have some fonts customizations but other than else you 
है ऑल्सो हैव द ऑप्शन फॉर कस्टम कलर सो एस इफ यू डोंट नीड द वॉल पेपर बेस सेमिंग यू कैन डेफिनेटली यूज द कस्टम कलर फॉर योर ओन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन विच एवर कलर यू लव टू यूज एज योर मॉनिट काइंड ऑफ थीमिंग यू कैन यूज दैट थिंग this was about all these things and about the changes and pixel plus ui latest version and this is all about today's short and simple video about pixel plus ui version 4.6 other than else things are basically same the light background of quick settings panel all the animations and pixel launcher etc etc things are basically same these were things i just want to let you know and as i just mentioned all the official supported devices links already available in the description and this was about all the change log thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share this video don't forget to subscribe the channel i'll see you in the next video until then kartar